Treating wastewater. What is wastewater? Wastewater is water that has been used in the home, in the business, or as part of an industrial process. Basically, it is the liquid that goes down our drains and plug holes, from our toilets, from sinks and baths, from mop buckets, from roadside curbs, from agriculture and farms, and from industry. This all makes waste water, which is also known as sewage. What is in sewage? Most people just think of this, poo, correctly known as faeces. But sewage also includes all of these other things. And even shopping trolleys too. What happens to waste water? There are five stages in the treatment of waste water. When we say treat, we don't mean having a lolly for being good. We mean treat so as to make this dirty, disgusting mixture cleansed and turned into ideally drinkable water. Many think that the journey starts at a toilet and ends in a river, the waste directly moving between the two, maybe in one long sewer pipe. But no, the waste water goes on a much more complex journey, travelling around this network of interconnected pipes in one, two, three, four and maybe five different stages. The first stage is screening also known as grit removal. Filtration is used here, a process that separates particles by their size or to separate solids from liquids using a series of filters or screens with different sized holes in. Starting with larger sized holes, the holes decreasing in size as the waste water moves through them so that this sewage gets separated out as it washes through the filters as these screens show with rubbish trapped in the filters. The second stage involves sedimentation from where we end up with two products, sludge and effluent. The waste water is pumped into large tanks where it collects and large rotating paddles then stir the mixture, separating sludge to the base and effluent towards the top. The more solid sludge sinks to the bottom, this made of organic matter and grit which is then pumped off. The effluent the more liquid part, containing water, urine, small organic particles and some microbes, is pushed off into the pipes by the paddles. The third stage is anaerobic digestion. Anaerobic means without oxygen and involves bacteria who thrive with no oxygen. Anaerobic digestion happens in specialised containers where sludge is pumped in and dried and left to settle for a few weeks. As it settles, the solid organic material sinks to the base the liquid matter above that, and gases rising above that. Bacteria are added to the mixture, which makes more gas, termed biogas, which is tapped off at the top of the vessel, the main gas collected being methane, which can be directly burnt or used to make electricity. The liquid matter can be used as a liquid fertiliser on fields, as can the more solid organic material at the base of the vessel. The fourth stage is aerobic digestion. Aerobic meaning with oxygen, where oxygen-loving bacteria are added to do their work in a different area of the process. Liquid effluent is pumped in and the bacteria are added. Oxygen, or air, is bubbled up through the mixture, allowing the bacteria to thrive, breaking down and removing the remaining organic material and microbes, which then sink to the bottom, forming a layer of organic-rich sediment, which can later be scooped out and used as a fertiliser. The remaining, now mostly nutrient-poor water, is then pumped out. The fifth stage is sterilisation, which involves treating the now quite clean water in order to remove any remaining bacteria or other microorganisms. Sterilisation can involve either of three processes. These all used to kill the organisms with either chlorine, ultraviolet radiation or ozone. But these processes cost money, so are not always used. Finally, the result of the processes is released into rivers or the sea. The once dirty wastewater, now a more acceptable and cleaner wastewater. This return to the environment according to the rules of local laws. In summary, wastewater around the world has to go through numerous and varied stages involving the removal of solids, the addition of different types of bacteria, the removal of organic matter, which can be used as fertilisers, 
leaving us with water that will hopefully not harm other organisms when it is returned to flow once more in our rivers or seas. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!